is everyone this is elizabeth and i am back with a wooden piece i love these wooden pieces <laughs> um and i was cleaning up after my last video <laughs> yeah i'm doing videos back to back because i just was like oh you know what let's do a napkin let's do a napkin because that's not in my fall class either so if you guys took the Halloween class, you got a coupon to five dollars in my sh five dollars off in my shop, and um, that if you're new and you haven't taken a class with me, you'll get a coupon too if you take the class if you purchase the kit and take the class. So there's an incentive for you, and you can that it's a one-time coupon and you can use it on. Um, anything in the class. Now, this is a three-ply napkin. A lot of them are two-ply, one-ply, but you need to make sure you get it down to the one-ply. And since this one is three, I've got one, two, three. Don't throw these away, okay? One, you can still wrap stuff. Maybe you need to wrap something, okay? Or you can stamp on this and do what we're doing now this <laughs> look at this you can see through but look this one right here this butterfly fits so nicely i'm gonna fussy cut this out and we're gonna glue it on it's gonna be gorgeous oh i can't wait okay so i'm just gonna I want to save this butterfly and this butterfly is kind of kind of toast anyways but I'm going to save most of it because you never know we could use that on something but I'm going to just come in here and we're going to oops <laughs> try not to rip it see where we were going with this yeah I just need to cut a good chunk of this butter butterfly moth whatever it may be right off of there look at that okay mm -mm -mm. and this is gonna sit right in there it's like it was made for this so yeah you can use napkins you can use whatever you like and I do recommend Mod Podge. But if you don't have that, you could apply your specialty glue with a paintbrush. Just know this is probably cheaper. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But uh, different applications. You know, it's not like you can apply these the same and stuff. And yeah. Anyways. Ugh. Please hold while I get this open. Okay, I got it open. I got my uh, Mod Podge paintbrush. It's just an old one because the glue gets down in here and it doesn't release. So yeah, it's really stiff here but loose here. And uh, Mod Podge does make glue brushes. But I always forget to clean, so I don't really, I don't really use my, <laughs> my Mod Podge glue brushes. And we're just going to paint on some glue all over this guy. We're just going to make him like universal. I don't mind if it gets on the back a little. It's not going to stick to my glass mat very much. It'll pop right off. So we're just going to add, and you can tell... Because it like gets shiny, okay? When you have your glue on, it's nice and shiny. Shiny! Look at that. And just clean up my edges. I'm making a muckery. Oops. But I don't mind. It'll wash off. I've never been burned or anything by this particular glue. It's a pretty pretty safe glue but you do want to write in the water don't let it set swoosh it swoosh it swoosh it swoosh it okay tappity tappity 
Normally, I say don't tap your brushes. That's with paints and stuff. With the glue, you want to tap. You want to get that water in there. You want to swoosh back and forth on the bottom. Okay, make sure you get that water in there. Okay, and then we're going to set this on here. I think that hung off just a teeny bit there. I've got a little wiggle room. Okay, look at that. Just tap that on there. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? It's just sticking on there. Like so. I'm gonna I'm gonna press down in there. Okay, because I need that. There we go. Just like so. Okay. We're going to hose this down and grab a paper towel. Should have had a paper towel ready. Don't mind me. <laughs> I wanted to rip my paper towel in half. There we go. A nice water based one, it cleans up super, super easy, like so. Okay, now I was letting that soak. Okay, just clean that or dry that, I should say. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Mod Podge right over the top of this because um, I want it to be able to be cleaned if you know, wiped off if we make this a refrigerator magnet. And it's going to ensure that we have the best stickiness. So make sure you get those edges. Okay. Get those in there. And it will dry clear. So don't worry about that. A nice clear mat. Okay. I'm going to get that up there. Forgot about the guy's little mouth. Roll that in there. Okay, roll that in there. Kind of creepy, isn't he? I like it. And then we're just going to brush this right, right on the edges. If it doesn't do what you want, um, just brush, keep a brushing. Okay. And it will get that wet and you'll be able to peel peel the paper off just like so okay get that in there seal those edges Okay. don't have to be super gentle on the edges. Let it do its thing. Just like so. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm just going to use this so I don't get my fingers all ewy. Brush that off like so. Look at that. Flatten that out. Got a little too much glue there. Oops. I had a little goo on my finger. Make sure your hands are clean because the glue will pick the colors off your hand. Good one. But that's all right. Um, let me, let me think what I can do to fix that. Maybe I'll put a little bit of, I'm going to let it dry. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry and then I'll use distress 
and I'll just stress the edges and bring it in a little bit into there. That'll hide that. Okay, I'll see you in a minute when this is all nice and dry and I will clean up. All right, so this beauty is coming along. It's nice and dry. I'm going to ink this up and then we're going to hit it with some mica sprays. So that way I can do the back as well. When I hang it up on the tree and if something happens, at least the back will have a little bit of interest. Um, so let me find my inky inks. Try to remember where I put everything. I'm going to use a little bit of hickory smoke, I think. And we're just going to use our ink blending brush. Okay. Oh, look at that. It took that right out. Okay. Get that in there. Look at that. Go right over there. We're just going to grungy up this um, ghost with the most. Look at that. Tone that wooden whiteness down so beautifully oh look at that i am gonna add a little bit to the back because why not i may need i may need a re-anchor for my hickory smoke let me grab shady because i know that one's it's got some ink on there there we go Get some spookiness. Ooh, look at that. Some interesting textures on there. Don't be afraid to willy-nilly blend. See, some of that glue came to the back and it gives it a different texture. Don't don't be sh don't be shy. And look, I'm gonna add another layer of color right there. Just oh, that's so much better. And maybe a teeny bit right there. Okay, so I'm going to do a few of the mica splatters on this side. Okay. Try and drop a drop right in the center of that one. Let them blend together. Okay, we do need to let this, this dry so that when we flip it over... It'll be all right, but I just, I just want to see what this is going to do. I'm just going to add a little puff of air. Mm, look at that one. Hopefully we can get it to dry looking like that. So I just not wanting to focus there. Nope. We're having focus issues. Focus. But look at that. So we're going to leave this to dry. Just love that yellow just gives it that mm, extra goodness. I <laughs> better put these caps back on. Knowing me, I'll go to grab them after this is dry and make a mess. I'll be right back. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it just so pretty? So, um, eat. The, the mica sprays, when you get them gloppy like this, big these big drops, they don't really dry dry. So I'm going to be careful and set it down and not push on it and not sh shove it. I'm going to put it down and then pick it straight up and hopefully the front won't get smeared. And then I'm just going to take the, the mica spray and uh, just make sure... I got it blended because I don't think I shook them the first time around. Clean off the, the nozzle there. And just add a little bit of that. You can see that's the glue from the front side. So cool. That probably won't dry. <laughs> so we'll probably have to dab that off later. And that'll be fine with me. I don't mind. But you know what? Let's... Let's just splatter the back, like so. And then once again, we'll hit it with the heat tool and see if we can't get it to set a little bit. And again, don't smoosh it around because the underside might get scuffed. Okay, 
Okay, let's see how it did. I'm gonna try not to move it. Yay, I didn't scuff up the front side. That nice blobby is still looking good. And for the most part, yes, it did. It dried on the glue part. Look at that. So, yeah. Mm. Look at how cute he looks. That way there, if he gets flipped over, he still looks cool on both sides. Um, I am going to dab, dab this little guy. Because if I put it away for Halloween, I don't need it going going all over you know what i mean so we're just gonna dab and make sure oops and then i smeared the back side no not too bad okay i think that's good just drop it just dropped it okay so yeah that's it i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me we're just going to string some fun fiber on this so that i can hang it on my halloween tree with the other ones and we'll see you next time right here on my channel have a great crafty day everyone bye bye